When night falls and it's time to tuck the little cherubs in, often the scariest monster isn't the one underneath the bed, it's the one on top of it. That's why I've got some ideas for you guys to try so the kids don't get in between you and your beauty sleep. If your baby longs for a soothing hand to get to sleep, don't stand around like an unused skill tester. Here's a trick. Grab a glove, fill it with some of these, seal it tight. Just before they nod off, do the old Indiana Jones switcheroo, and before you know it, you're back in the lounge ugh, doing grown-up duties. If they're a little older, you can gamify shut-eye. Three, two, one, sleep. The pretend to sleep game doesn't sound that catchy, but if you can convince them to play, you'll get them sleeping. Get comfy though, because more often than not, you'll be first past the post. If sleep isn't a problem, but what they do in their sleep is, here's a helpful hack. To stop young'uns falling out of the bed, get an old pool noodle, put it under a fitted sheet on the side of the bed, and lock them in. They'll need some four-wheeled sleep to get over that speed bump. If you're faced with a midnight monster infestation, then here's a little trick that'll get them gone in a jiffy. Decorate an old spray bottle, Fill it with water, you've got an anti-monster spray. Let's go test it out. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, don't do that. It's genuinely a, a terrible idea. But let's be honest, no matter how many tricks we do have, sometimes the kids, they just go nocturnal. That's why if you haven't got any sleep at all, I recommend these. Put these stickers on your eyelids and get some good old fashioned sleep at work. Well that's it from me, if you've got any bedtime tips, I'd really love to hear them. That's all for now, we'll see you later.